You're still here. Where else would I be? At the Andrew Square Motel with your new boyfriend, Brody. Brody is not my boyfriend. So you guys just hang out in bed naked because keeps you warm? It's okay, Natalie. I'm through with Brody. You can have him. And the baby makes three, right? Stop it. That's how it should be. One happy little family. I understand why you're being so... <sighs> okay. You know what, what? What you walked in on last night was a shock. You weren't prepared for how close Brody and I got. Close. While you were away. That's, that's, that's what you're calling it. But you're back now. So you and Brody can pick up the pieces. Well, and I, I know you're not telling me what to do, right? No, I'm not, Jess. Because what's there to figure out? You and Brody slept together. Again. You know that's Or right. maybe I should just pretend that it never happened. Brody and I can go back to when we were really, really in love and gonna get married. But just one problem with that. It's gonna be a little crowded in Brody's bed with you there, too. Yeah, I moved, uh... Stop it. Me? Put yourself in Brody's shoes for a minute. You you were gone. Uh, please, don't lecture me about what it was like when I was gone. Brody already did that. Well, obviously you weren't listening. Oh because Brody didn't know if you were ever coming back this time. He felt abandoned. Please, that's between Brody and me. You're my sister, Natalie, and you slept with my fiancé. And please, you can't blame it this time on one drunken night of confusion because you know exactly what you were doing. So put yourself in my place. How would you feel if I slept with John? If you slept with John, I would feel like crap. Right. I bet you would. But the thing is, I wouldn't do that. Because you're my sister. And you don't just sleep with your sister's fiancé, Natalie. But that's the difference between you and me. But maybe... Maybe I should change my whole outlook, you know? Be more like you. Not get bogged down with things like a conscience. You know what? Just do whatever shut the hell I want. Shut up, Jessica. You gave up your life. You walked out on it. So don't expect me to feel sorry for you anymore, because I am done. When your life got too tough, and you found out the truth about Ryder, and you found out that Brody and I slept together, you took off. You think I wanted Tess to come back? Ah, pretty convenient. You know, things get hard, just hand it over to someone else and walk away. Lucky for you. Not, not so lucky for me. No. Because while you're out cavorting as Tess, abandoning Brody and your child, mine got ripped away. And that's my fault. No, no, no. No, it's mine. It's all mine, but I had to deal with that. After all the lies that I told and everything blew up in my face, I had to live with that. I had to do all the work to put the pieces back together. So what do you want, Natalie? You want a medal? Brody waited for you for months. He, he tried to get to you as, as many times as he could, no matter how many times you shot him down or he was humiliated, while, while Tess, well, Tess took up with half the male population of Landview. So Tess is your excuse to act like a slut. Works for you, doesn't it? Brody and I never meant for this to happen. We were just trying to take care of our son try to have some sort of normal life for Liam and for us. And then you come strolling back one night and you expect everything to be exactly the way it was when you left. But guess what, Jess? Life went on without you. Deal with it. Are you done? Because I have a doctor's appointment and then after that I have to go to the hospital to see Dad. <sighs> That's where I'm going to. Call mom before and dad had a rough night. I know, Natalie. I'm really glad that you're gonna go see your doctor. Because the last thing we need right now is for Tess to come back. I guess I should be super grateful. At least Tess didn't try to kill me this time. Don't push me. You right there, John. Is that a threat? Should I be worried? is going to come after me in my sleep? No. Don't worry. If I decide to pay you back with what you've done with Brody, it'll be me that comes after you, not Tess. I wonder what John McVeigh's up to. 